What is up all my chosen ones, Jazz Royce back at it again. And today we are gonna get into the fourth coin that I was talking about in my portfolio. This one is called Boost Coin. Before we get into it guys, please hit that like button, smash it, smash the subscribe button. Leave some feedback after the videos because I love interacting with you guys. Thank you so much for all the love. We have passed 500 subscribers. Next goal, we hit in 1K. And then we're going for that YouTube partnership, baby. So then sooner or later, I could be doing this full time with you guys, all right? So once again, I really appreciate you guys. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Let's get into this. Boost coin, boost coin. Okay, so if you guys saw my previous videos when I show the watch list, you guys know how to do it by now. Look at the watch, it's got an overview and everything. Boost coin was last sitting at about seven cents, guys. The six to seven cents range. Right now we are looking at 9.7 cents. I have it open right here too. Yeah, all those, you know, open these tabs ahead of time before I shoot look more professional for you guys. All right, so 9.7 cents right now. This is an all-time high we're seeing for Boost coin. Boost coin's original all-time high was like seven and a half cents. And giving you guys a little bit of context on this coin and why I really like this coin a lot you know this is like my actual like stable type of coin so to speak as a matter of fact this coin actually came out literally the 10th of August I believe and I bought into it the very last like couple of days of August I spent a total of like 500 bucks at around that 1.2 to one and a half cent mark, like the early one cent, and then I bought the remainder of that at like a cent and a half, right? And I held. Total, it's like 47,000 tokens I'm sitting on now all together. And right now, I've held, like I said, from one cent, and we're sitting at 9.7 cents. Now, let's break down, you know, I like the tokenomics of things now, so we get to get to some little action and prediction, right? Okay, let's get to it. Boost white paper. I'm not going to go over the whole thing with you guys. But um, this is a token that started with a 1 billion total supply. Not trillion, not quadrillion, 1 billion. In fact, it launched at 0 .001 of a penny. I didn't catch it then. I caught it when it just hit a penny. And then that gained a little bit of hype. Like, oh, this coin's at a penny now. Where can it go? You know, you know from the old experiences of seeing something hit a penny we're all like okay well what about a dollar what's gonna happen at a dollar so this coin in particular oh it's gonna hit a dollar without a doubt but now it's about how high could it go i'm gonna get into this now so let's see 50 percent of it is burnt at launch and there was only a billion supply as it is okay and it even they even break down exactly what is going on, where the remainder of the coins are going to. And the 2% reflections, yeah, you do get passive tokens, but I'm telling you, it is nowhere. The 2% reflections is nowhere on Klikai's level of reflections, man. Saitama, is in, to me, it's in second place of reflections, probably because I hold more Klee tokens, but Klee's winning with the reflections, guys. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it, okay? Now, you might be asking me, okay, well, what's what's Boost Coin? What is the hype about it? Let's go on their Twitter page. So, to break it down, Boost is pretty much, they're coming for the title of, and you see the title, the new standard of what DeFi is in this whole decentralized cryptocurrency atmosphere that we're in now. And Boost Swap is what they are represented by for the time being because they are targeting to be and i don't want to say this to start a war but they're coming after uniswap you know they're coming after uniswap and with all honesty the other coins that i bought you know uh, except for shit but saitama well should saitama i bought on shiba swap but klikai and moving some coins into saitama and moving some into boost my primary source of what I use to swap tokens, and you guys are asking, how do I get this coin? How do I buy this coin? Me, I use BooSwap. I'll pull it up. Let me open up a new tab. I use BooSwap. I admit, I was huge on Shiba Swap at first because, you know, Shiba, got to rep Shiba. But then I saw BooSwap come out, and it came out practically with the app. And in fact, they just released a limit feature. So for those that don't know what a limit is, think, uh, if you're familiar with Forex, that's the best example I can give. 
picture, okay, it's hard in the day-to-day world of constantly watching your charts when you have to work. You got responsibilities to take care of, whether it's at home, whether you have a family. You can't be glued to the charts 24-7 unless you're like a, a, a stockbroker or something like that, right? Or a 24-7 trader, which most of us, we're just ordinary individuals working our lives and trying to get rich off crypto to retire early. Understandable. I'm on the same boat. The limit feature that this offers right here, in fact, makes it easier so that way you have a, your own set target of when you want to buy in and what entry point you like to buy in for any token, for any token. And I believe the same thing goes with selling. So that's a big deal. Next, your swap. Their swap to me, this looks like the Robin Hood of Uniswap. That's the vibe that I got as soon as I first looked at this. And it's actually on their website, guys, boostco.in. That is their website. The app is actually going to be, this is going to be its own app available to download on the phone, which they're actually finalizing right now. More on that a little later. So this is the best part. You ready for this? This is the best part of why I prefer this swap over all the other swaps that are out there. And I'm going to show you right now. Something that the other swaps that I've used are missing. I haven't used pancake swaps, so maybe, maybe they have that, I don't know, but look, let me show you. So let's say I wanna buy some, what I wanna buy, what I wanna buy, like my computer's a little slow right now, guys, but um, okay, let's say I wanna buy some Klee, it's not loading my Saitama, let's say some Klee. Look at what this does, guys, when I click this. It shows the amount of Klee's with the commas. That is a huge, huge difference that I do not know why none of these other swap exchanges thought as simple as adding commas to these big amounts of coins that we're adding into our wallets so we don't have to sit there and say three zeros, six zeros, seven, six, seven no, no, three zeros, six zeros. That's too much time, man. We just want to know what we're going to get in, what's the fees looking like, and should we buy right now? And this has been the quickest that I've ever done transactions, you know. I'm used to when I when I place a buy on something and I'm waiting for the Ethereum to spend. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Get that little bit of anxiety like, dang, what if this transaction does not go through, but yet it takes my Ethereum gas fees and I just wasted it for nothing. This, literally, and I don't even pay the extra fees to speed up or nothing. No, I just do the plain fee, the regular. I don't want to mess with nothing. Uh, I'm not risking it. I'm going to use the normal, regular thing. And it processes, I think the longest I waited on this app was about 45 seconds for it to go through very impressive guys and now they're coming out with their own DeFi app which is in the making i think they're trying to have that done within less than a month if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong and for those that know about it but pretty much it's going to be an app in which it's not only where you can use boost swap and use the limit features and stuff but it's also going to be an app that more so it's like giving you an update like in day-to-day -day crypto news it's i think it's also a wallet being built into it i don't quote me on that guys i think it is a wallet being built into it and in fact if we go on there let's go on their instagram they actually have some pictures of it like for example this is how the logo looks they already have the logo boost DeFi is going to be the app in 25 days or less and this was posted one day ago guys this is a gem you don't want to sleep on there's still so much more to go over. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you that Tory Lanez is an official signed partner for BoostCoin? He is not a paid sponsor that people were thinking. People were looking at Tory like, man, this guy's just spamming his Twitter to go buy Boost, buy Boost, buy Boost. Why is he telling everybody to buy Boost? Well, no, guys. He, in fact, he is a partner with BoostCoin. He's partnered with them. And it's not like a... a so like it's not he's not like a like a random person that just pulled to say hey we're gonna give you this much money to talk about our coin as much as you want, no this is a guy that actually believes in their project wholeheartedly. If you really follow on Tory Lanes, I don't even think it was like an upfront money that was given to him either to promote this. He just believes in the project. So let's look more into this, guys. This is great because I'll, I'll even show you their Instagram says a lot about what they're working on. So. For example, look over here. What caught me is that they're comparing themselves of how their swap is once it comes out with the app versus the other swaps. So this coin, 
practically it was at a cent. The times that it was under a penny, I think it was like not even for more than a couple days and then it just shot up to one cent and kind of stayed there up until like September then it started moving up more. Um, for those that are wondering, so far in this coin from the very end of August to now, so about in a month and a half, I've, I'm so far up 9x on my initial investment of 500 bucks. So do the math, do the math. We're only at nine, it's nine cents about to hit 10 cents. And so the initial plan for boost was to say, okay, well, pancake swap hit $48 peak price from 19 cents in six months. Uniswap hit $44 from $41, 41 cents, sorry, in nine months. Sushi swap hit 50 bucks from 47 cents in five months. Now, we are only at nine cents. You know, our actual before swap price, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how high we go before the actual swap comes out. You can use a swap. I use a swap on the website, but like where it's open to be used as an actual app, you know, not just a website. So let's see, guys. I remember seeing in their telegram they were talking about $32.50 as the target for Boost Coin. So mind you, even if you're holding 10,000 coins and that gets up to $32.50, man, your 10,000 coins is going to be worth about $320,000. And let's just simplify it. If you're not that far of a thinker, let's just look at $1. Hey, a dollar at 10,000 coins, that's $10,000. It's a no-brainer. And if it's in the competition of where Uniswap went from pennies to dollars in less than a year, well, man, looking at Boost Guys and how quick it's come out, this, this coin is barely a, an official two months old to be honest with you it's barely over two months old and it's already doing great it's doing great and did i mention that the developers are also a part of the dev teams that worked on matic and litecoin so maybe that's why everything that they're working on is so much ahead of its time in comparison to the competition that's out there in such a small amount of time because these are actual experienced dev people that are coming together and acting on their ideas. Right now, the current market cap for Boost, for Boost is at 97 million. 97 million, guys. So you see, you see where I'm going with this, right? 100 million is 10 cents, which means 1 billion market cap is $1, which means, let's, let's, let's fast forward, you know, I like to use this as an example all the time. Dogecoin's market cap is that would be $30, about $25 to $30. And even just Uniswap's current market cap, when Boost gets there, that'll still be approximately like $15 per Boost coin. So not a financial advisor, like I always say in the description, but this is my fourth investment. You know, this is my fourth investment. And I, in fact, have this as my second biggest investment right under Shiba. Because I just really believe in this man. I really believe in his project. Do your own research, guys. Like I said, here is the website. Here is the white paper. Look it up if you guys want to. There's plenty to read on with this. And I'll just touch a little bit before we end this video. Because I know I've been running my mouth for a little while. I miss talking to you guys. So, okay. Shiba is down again. Down almost 10 cents. Not worried long-term hodling like i said if you're a long-term hodler you're not even flinching at this price this is still extraordinary compared to where we've been sitting at throughout the entire summer saitama still holding the line in the one threes i believe in this coin every single day i log on twitter in fact saitama is my favorite coin of all of them to talk about if i'm being real with you guys klikai klikai is up up 18 percent I'm really eager to see what's going to happen once once the official version of Klee Run comes out. Will there be new maps? Will there be more, like, you know, maybe like treasure or secret Easter eggs to find in the game? Things that make it even more enticing than what it already is that can boost that market cap to easily make us 100x. That's what I'm waiting for for Klee Kai. Klee Kai, when that hits that 100x, then I can make a video saying, okay, 
when's a good strategy to start taking some profits you know and of course we have boost coin which is not at 10 cents yet but hey it is two and a half cents higher than where it was when i made my last video and just a little heads up for those that are not in the telegram apparently when boost hits 10 cents the developers have whales that they have locked and loaded ready to buy up that price for boost but even if they choose to dump it won't harshly affect us that bad because the boost developers actually made a limit on how much each person is able to hold in their wallet of boost coin there's a set limit to make sure there's no huge whales to do major dumpings and rug pulls and by the way it's certic audited it's certic audited so rug pulls not a chance with boost coin once again guys make your own decision do your own research this is jazz royce thank you for tuning in once again and i will catch you guys have a great day.